teaching your dog the leave it command and how to focus on you. In this video I'm going to be teaching Bohemia the Siberian Husky and Disney the Working Cocker Spaniel how to leave an item of food and to focus on me. Teaching your dog to focus on you is the basis for many behaviour modifications that require yeah. impulse control, such as leave it, waiting for their food, heel work, ignoring other dogs while out on walks and ignoring distractions when doing agility or obedience classes. Before you begin you will need some treats. I start out using the grain free kibble my dogs get for breakfast. I prefer to feed them raw but grain free kibble is easier to use for training. Asking your dog to work for their meals is good for them. Good. I held the camera for the first part of this video which didn't work too well. I didn't want to refilm it though as I wanted to catch the natural reaction of a dog being asked to do this for the first time. Bohemia doesn't know what I want. I don't tell her. She has to figure it out for herself. I keep the food covered and just have to wait until she stops trying to get it and looks up at me for help. The exact second she lifts her head is when I use a word or sound to mark the movement. A mark a word or sound is made so that your dog knows when they have done something right. Yes, good girl. I use yes as it's short and snappy to say. You can use a clicker if you like. I'm not a clicker fan. You always need to have it with you and I can never remember what I've done with mine. It's not yes, possible to girl. lose the word yes unless maybe you've got a sore throat. Using a word also keeps your hands free. Whoever invented the clicker didn't have arthritis or wasn't trying to operate one on a cold day with frozen fingers whilst holding a treat and a dog lead at the same time. Timing is the most important thing when teaching yes, this behaviour. You must make sure that you say yes or click the exact second that the dog looks up at you so they understand that giving eye contact is what they are yes, being rewarded for, not anything else. A word is used rather than a treat to mark the correct behaviour as it's faster. If you reach for a treat your dog will move their head and not understand it was for looking at you they were being rewarded. You can see Bohemia is starting to think about what is going on and figuring out the game we are playing. It's important to think yes, of this as a girl. game as games are fun. Learning should be fun. Your puppy should want to play lots of games and learn new things with you. Bohemia picked up exactly what was required of her in one and a half minutes. Once the dog understands what you want them to do, you can gradually raise the criteria and delay giving the treat after you said yes to build duration. Right. Once your dog can do this in the house, then take Leave it outside it. where there are more distractions. Go back to the yes, beginning and cover over the food. Learning in a new Leave environment it. means your dog may not have a clue about what they learnt before, before. although that. Bohemia does seem to have remembered. I have changed the treats over to sausages as we're in a higher distraction area so it requires a higher value reward. Now she understands what I wanted to do, I'm introducing a command of leave it when she tries to take the treat. I also sometimes use at her to tell her when she's doing it wrong. Yes and good girl are for when she gets it right. Some trainers don't like to use a word for when the dog is doing it wrong. I do. It's a bit like playing a game of hotter and colder. I think the dog learns quicker when they get feedback for both right and wrong. I increase the difficulty level further by placing the sausages onto her paws. This is a lot more tempting than on the floor and I have to go back to covering the treat to stop her getting it. She does understand the concept of leave it now and after a few false starts she stays looking at me and not the treats. I then taught the same thing to working Cocker Spaniel Disney. She understands the leave it command but it took a while for her to actually look up at me and not at the food. Bohemia was curious and came over to join in. So I couldn't resist working both dogs together and to see if I was able to get both to leave the sausages alone at the same time. I think we can say that they achieved it. Now to put that leave it command to work in a more real environment and to play Temptation Alley. I have spread treats in two lines and placed one under my foot. As I'm now standing up rather than sitting, I need to take things back to the beginning and cover the treat again. You can see that each time I change location and criteria, that Bohemia gets faster at picking up what I wanted to do. Once she looks up at me with the treat covered, we progress to uncovered. Good girl. Good girl. She now has the added distraction of Amadeus coming to watch what we're doing as well. He obviously needs some work on his leave it too. I walk Bohemia down the middle of the line of treats and use the leave it command so she knows that I don't want her to touch the food. I then reward her at the end with a higher value treat. 
I repeated walking her past the line of treats until I was happy she was looking at me and able to do it on a loose lead. I then increased the criteria and made it more difficult by recalling her down the line of treats off lead. Yes, good girl. Back this way. She's great the first time, then gets distracted making the turn and decided to take a chance and steal one. You want another seat? I replaced the treat and set her up in a sit. She thought about stealing the treats again, but made the right decision and took a giant leap towards me. It does help to use a higher value of treat to reward her than what's on the floor. In this case, it's a dry biscuit type treat on the floor and I'm rewarding her with sausages. Look at me. Hi, Good girl. You can follow on from the way your dog looks at you when walking past the food to use it as a focus on me command for other things, like heel work. Getting your dog to give you eye contact and focus when walking is how to get them to do super heel work even without a lead. I take my dog's breakfast with me in my pocket and they earn it practicing heel work on my morning walk. I just use my dog's name or even just here to get their attention rather than saying focus. That is enough to get them to walk to heel and look at me. I have used this method to stop my dogs from pulling on their legs and also to ignore other dogs when we're out walking. You can see that Bohemia used to be wild when passing other dogs. By Good calling girl. her back to my side and using Come treats in. to reward her with when she looks at me, I was able to teach her to be calm in this sort of situation. I do yeah. use head collars on my dogs, although they have been taught not to pull. The head collars are there for my safety. Should a cat or wild animal suddenly shoot this? across my path, as they will react to that and I don't want to be pulled over, now Bohemia walks past barking dogs and totally ignores them. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like or comment. We'd love to hear from you. For more great content from Disney and the Snow Dogs, subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on. See you again soon. Left. Bow left. Is he left? That's that way the last time I looked. But she's lost the plot. Right. No, that's left. Try again. Hang on.